I want to ask a question because Arthur, you are about the only person who can make a sweatshirt and a hoodie, mind you, under a gi look good. Every time I see you teaching on Instagram. <laughs> so, so what's with the sweat, the hoodie under the gi? Is it I'm, cold in that place I'm, or what? No, it's um, it's hot and there's like a heater, but I think because I don't roll and I kind of just teach. But I'm also I've always just been very cold. Okay. And then actually, it's not just me. John Thomas does it too. And then once I saw John Thomas do it, I was like, okay, this is okay. This is acceptable. <laughs> we just have to like, you know, tip this into the general population. I guess it's acceptable considering I think a lot of time he was teaching in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. So Yeah, or Norway or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, maybe not. No. Northern yeah. Scandinavian country. Yeah. So if you're... If you're wearing a sweater and it's like minus 40 outside, you know, I can understand it. I yeah, that's Canada, Canada, Canada can get cold. So it's freezing. Yeah. And like John Thomas looks like a very skinny guy. Like not too, too much insulation on him. Yeah. <laughs> I think you two have very similar builds, just like tall, lanky, just. Yeah. Is that like, I was going to ask you like about people who, you know, were like big influences on your jiu-jitsu i think john thomas is probably one of them but like now really- actually yeah um there's kind of like three four people i follow very closely one guy doesn't even speak english but i have learned more from this guy in one year than probably the past three years i think i know um, who you're talking about Shinchan gorilla yeah that's the guy yeah. i follow him as well he's, he's amazing he's awesome. he is amazing i was actually supposed to be in korea like right now training with him but of course, um, because when you go there, I think you have to do two weeks of isolation and then you have to do another like week of regional isolation. Oh, so, wow. you know, all together, that's six weeks when you include me training and then coming back and isolating. So it was just kind of not worth it, but that's definitely. And then the guy I lost to in the finals of the Asian Open was one of his like students and training partners. So then I was even more sold. I was like, okay, this guy's definitely good. And he's, he's actively studying a lot, which I like, because I'll watch the Mendez brothers teach something and then I'll watch him reteach it, like, you know, so he's still very actively studying. And yeah, I, I think he's an amazing teacher. And then John Thomas, yeah. Um, uh, other, like those two guys are kind of like my main go-tos right now. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep training.